morning and welcome back to another what I eat in a day. In this video there will be two what I eat in a day, there will be Fridays and Saturday so I hope you enjoy it. So it's Friday morning, yay for the weekend, like that makes a difference in these terms. But what it does mean is that there's no homeschooling which is lovely because Saturday and Sunday now are just completely chill days, no routine whatsoever. However on Saturday we will be needing to go to the pet shop um, for some more hay for the rabbits so that's something which we'll need to, to do to get some hay for the rabbits. Um, but anyway let's go back to today. So it's Friday morning, first thing in the morning, the children have just got up, sorted the rabbits out they're chilling in the lounge before hangouts and before check-ins um, so I've just made myself um, a black coffee it feels ages since I've just had a black coffee in the morning um, but I'm feeling really happy now that I've got a black coffee if you've only just watched this first vlog I ran out of coffee and a coffee lover like myself it was a big thing anyway I'm happy I'm gonna have a black coffee I'm gonna enjoy this and whilst the children are on hangout I will then start prepping for my breakfast so my breakfast today is 40 grams of porridge, which I've added lots of cinnamon um, to it. I've chopped up an apple, which I've uh, mixed into the porridge, um, and then just bunged it in the microwave. And then I've topped it with some sultanas and some um, bananas. Um, yes, they are love, shape, love heart shaped. It's just because I was doing my, my daughter's breakfast, and I try and make hers as appetizing as possible, so she's encouraged to eat it. So um, whilst the cutter was out, I just thought, why not make my breakfast into love hearts? Um, so that's my breakfast for today. I'm gonna have that and um, sit and I've got a little bit of black coffee to drink um, whilst the kids are on hangout. For my lunch today, I have got another portion of the soup. This is the last bit of it. And I've got to be honest, I can't bother to put it in a, a bowl. I'm just keeping it real. So I'm having out the Tupperware dish and then I've got it with some chicken on a stick, which I'm gonna dunk in. And that's my lunch for today. So I'm just starting to get tea ready. So we're having carrot, cumin and kidney bean burgers. So what you'll need is a can of kidney beans, a small onion, a teaspoon of cumin, um, a carrot, um, fry light and a tablespoon of flour. I'm serving it with some potato um, chips and then I'm going to have the burger in a bread bun with some um, cheese in it and then I'm having it with a salad. So the first thing you're going to do is drain your kidney beans, rinse them and then put them in a pan with some cold water. Bring them to the boil and then simmer for 10 minutes. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. So I've just got a little bit of carrot left and I thought I'd show you. Basically, you just pop it down, do that, voila. And it all stores in here and it is so simple. I absolutely love it. Thanks to the Hubster for getting me it for my birthday. Yes. So what I did was fry the onions, fry the carrots um, till the carrots just went a little bit soft. Then I drained my kidney beans and then add them to the pan with some cold water so they're just covered and then bring them to the boil and then simmer them for 10 minutes and then drain them and then pop them in a bowl and then you're going to wait for the onions and carrots to fry so they go squashy and then place them in a bowl and then give them a good mush and then make beef uh, make burger shapes out of them they're meant to be fried but I am going to put them in the oven. So what I've just done now is made some spicy mayo um, chips. So I've just cooked the chips like I would normally, um, cut them up, made sure to call the moisture out. I don't part boil them or anything like that anymore. And then I just chuck them in the oven so to go nice and crispy. Then I've added a teaspoon of spicy mayo, it's the Crucials ones, um, into this. And then I have just basically grated some cheese in it and it's absolutely gorgeous. They taste amazing. Um, what I'm gonna do though is chop up a red pepper and add that to it. So this is my evening meal all dished up. A large side salad uh, with greenery and peppers and tomatoes. I've got the um, chips just there. Then in here I've got the bean burger um, in a wholemeal roll with a tablespoon of mango chutney and some um, grated cheese as well. 
Um, so that's my evening meal. Good evening. Um, so for my evening snacks, I'm having Quavers, salt and vinegar. And then we've still got a bit of Christmas chocolate left. So I'm having one of these mini um, Santas as well. And I'm going to have a herbal tea before um, I finally go to bed. Um, I've also got in the lounge a bottle of um, no added sugar, apple and black currant. So I hope you've enjoyed what I've eaten today. Um, so let's crack on with tomorrow. Morning. It's too early to um, show my face so I'm just having a black coffee to start my day so it's officially good morning um I wasn't fit to show you on camera got up early because Grace had um dance zoo class so I always like to get up extra early for that um so I can have a coffee she can have some tweet before she starts um zooming so I'm going to now start prepping um, breakfast we're having apple and cinnamon um, pancakes so I'll spin you around and show you what you will need to make these so what you'll need is 270 grams of plain flour you need four tablespoons of sugar you could um, uh, swap this up for some sweetener you'll need two teaspoons of baking powder four tablespoons of um, apple sauce a pinch of salt some fry light um, half a teaspoon of lemon um, juice and 260 mils of milk and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon so what you need to do is put all your dry ingredients together in a bowl weigh them out measure them and leave them in a bowl then your wet ingredients so what you need to do is weigh your milk in a jug and then in another jug you're gonna have a tablespoon of apple sauce and then you're gonna in your milk you're gonna add your lemon juice then slowly you're going to add your milk to the applesauce and then I just added a bit of milk to the applesauce, made sure it was all mixed up and then added another tablespoon of applesauce and then a bit more milk so it's four tablespoons of um, applesauce all together and then it'll come into like a nice smooth um, like mixture and then what you do is in your uh, dry ingredients make a well and you pour this into the dry ingredients and whisk it up and make it into a batter and then you pop it in the fridge like mine is for 30 minutes so it thickens up so in the meantime I'm going to put all my um, ingredients away I'm going to do the little pots what has been made and then get a frying pan out and some fry light to um, fry these in 30 minutes time <laughs> So this is my breakfast, I've got three of the little pancakes, I've topped it off with um, a banana, I've got some um, um, toasted flaked oat on top and then I've got a sprinkling of my favourite sauce which is the chocolate and raspberry sauce by Groovy Food, it's amazing and then I've sprinkled some extra cinnamon on top, I cannot wait to sit down and eat these. Just popped to Aldi to get a few essential things, we'd run out of all um, like fruit and a bit of veg so I'd rather snack on this than be tempted to have like crisps and etc etc so I got two packets of strawberries uh, some pears um, a melon um, some jacket potatoes um, watercress spinach and rocket salad um, two of the duck and chicken sushi two packs of pink ladies the husband really likes eating these as like a little snack um, some peppers some grated cheese, some pineapple slices, some wafer ham and two um, rice puddings. So for my lunch I'm having a duck and chicken sushi. So our evening meal is pizza night. So um, I am using the Just Roll um, short crust um, pastry blocks. So this comes in two blocks. Um, we've all had half a block. I've just started prepping mine, so I've, I've rolled mine out really roughly. Um, I've spread some tomato puree in there with a bit of passata, sprinkle some cheese, and then I'm going to put my toppings on. So my toppings are ham, pepper, and some um, pineapple. I've got some chilli flakes, I've got some mixed herb, and then I'm going to have a big salad with mine, and um, I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar on my salad. Um, so yeah, I'll show you it when it's all done. So there's my pizza all ready for the oven and I've just sprinkled some, um, a little bit of cheese on top. I weighed out 35 grams of 
um, light uh, mature ch um, cheddar cheese um, so yeah I put so much at the bottom and then so much on the top so it's extra cheesiness and um, I'll show you it when it's all plated up with my salad and I've got a few um, wedges which I have um, made like um, just basically chopped up a potato and banged it in the oven with some pre-cut on top. Oh yeah I haven't been on here a lot um, it's just been a busy day we popped out this um, like mid morning to uh, mid to early afternoon uh, because I needed to do two things I needed to go to the pet shop to get some more hay for the rabbit and then I went into Pamland and got a notebook and like somewhere to hold all Max's work in so like his English his maths and then all this three sciences and stuff like that so it, it's all in order so he, he's not looking through um, everything so it's just a lot easier for him so I went into there got that and I got a love heart frying pan the Valentine's rage is in I got a love heart frying pan and I'll, I'll show you while I'm on and these little love heart dishes how cute are they I thought I could melt a little bit of chocolate in there put it in the middle of a of a plate and put some strawberries around it and then dip the strawberries in the um, in here they were cute three for a pound then I got a love heart frying pan love hat frying pan a pound just to make a little egg in it um, and that was it that the notebook a holder that was it that was it from Poundland and then Pets at Home was right next to it and I got some hay so there we go that was my day today um, oh and obviously I called in Aldi to pick some um, bits and bobs in what you've you've just seen because I needed some fresh bits my um, food shop comes tomorrow um, but I needed a few bits in because it doesn't come up it doesn't come until between half four and half five so I want to get a few bits in so yes that's been my day I'll show you when my pizza is all done and um, done and dusted um, and I'll try and upload this for today if you've seen it on Saturday I've done what I said I could do if you see it Sunday morning then it's been a busy day so anyway i hope you've had a lovely um saturday um and um see you soon and this is my evening tea i've got a large salad a few little chips and then i've cut up the pizza into little slices so it looks like i've got a lot of pizza there and then i've got a tablespoon of lighter uh, mayonnaise so cannot wait to have pizza night so that pizza was absolutely gorgeous but i am stuffed <clears throat> and i won't think i'll be eating anything else um, for tonight if I do eat anything then you'll find out um, in tomorrow's vlog but I can tell you now folks I don't think I will be because I am stuffed it was gorgeous but um, very very filling and um, yeah so the only thing I'll be having is my herbal tea before I go to bed so I hope you've enjoyed this um, two vlogs in one and as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.